Hey Cancer, welcome to your love reading for April 2019. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what works for you. Leave the rest. Okay, so I already shuffled the cards and placed them down. So I'm just shuffling some clarifiers. Um, all right, Cancer. So this is a, a, a love relationship spread for if you're dealing with someone already. And uh, I do have a singles that's going to be coming up every Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time live stream. So definitely check that out if you're single. So your past position, Cancer, you have the Emperor here. Okay. So some of you may have been involved with an Aries. Okay. Uh, or just someone who had that uh, this authoritative type of energy. Um, that was their behavior. They didn't talk very much, didn't say very much. Uh, business owner, uh, in high ranking and military for some. Uh, a very high level authoritative type position could have also been some of you. This could have something to do with your father or a father figure. I will be your father figure. I was just thinking of that song just popped into my head. All right, I'm going to clarify. Okay. Ten of swords in the past position. So could have some type of betrayal that occurred in the past in connection with this person. Okay. Um, something ended in the past with them. Okay. So moving forward here into the present day of the eight of, Pen I'm sorry, the ace of pentacles. And then you also have, which is strange, the knight of pen or the knight of swords came out reversed and as you guys know i don't read reversals but i'm going to take it this way um so i see like an offer of some sort coming in for you there's abundance here and this could be it could be coming from this person this aries or um emperor type of uh, person here's the thing right so Either that situation ended in the past, or uh, first let me just point out, this is Mars energy, okay? So this could be related, there could be Scorpio involved somewhere here, even though that's the Aries card. Um, this person could have faced a betrayal in the past. Either way, I feel like the person that you are connected with there's some type of an offer coming in, but it's heavily delayed. Okay. Um, it's a challenge for this person. For some reason, I'm picking up that they're kind of swooping back around in some ways because something has ended. Now, if that was either because it ended with you or because it, they ended something or something ended in their past, they've hit rock bottom. Some of them have um, definitely... They, it's like, I don't want to say karma because I feel like karma hits you in the next life <laughs> or it comes at you now from a previous life. I feel like um, the energy happening here is that this person, they've hit some kind of a bot. They've hit some type of a bottom and it could be a lot of different areas, but there was some type of depression perhaps betrayal. Um, for some of you, this person was also in a life or death situation. Okay. Um, or for some of you, this is somebody who's passed away. The energy really just depends. It plays out in a lot of different ways. Um, but there's a challenge that's happening here where There's a lack of direction. There's like all this abundance here. I, I almost feel like for you, Cancer, you're you're given this, you're being given this golden meal ticket. You're being given something here in April that is tangible, valuable. Could be a huge, it's there's potential for great new things happening in your life. But the Knight of Swords, 
there's delay here with this. This is misdirected action. This is kind of like the leader of a, you know, an army, <laughs> you know, the, on the horse, the one that goes first charge, but the horse is like confused, doesn't know which way to go is going left is going right it's supposed to be heading forward. And there's an energy of here, you know, it's like, either you're dodging somebody coming back, because I feel that whatever was happening, there's a there's an element of dodging moving forward for you. Okay. For this person, or the or what was happened, whatever ended uh, for a lot of you, whatever has ended in the past with someone, you're having trouble moving forward. That really is how I feel. You may have faced some type of betrayal from this person, and there's difficulty for you to even see that you have all these blessings and all this abundance in your life. It's 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 a struggle for you to see this. Okay. And you have the four of cups driving you, driving this reading. So this here again is an energy of um being indifferent, apathetic, feeling hopeless about love, not accepting offers, not accepting dates, not trying to have that connection. Some of you are waiting for someone. You're, you are actually waiting for someone, right? That betrayal from the past or that uh, ending, that thing that ended. Some of you are waiting for this person to make a turnaround. And I feel their energy is like they want to give this. They want to give you or repair or fix. They've hit the bottom. They've either, you know, they've come to realize what it is that they, I don't know if I want to say possibly the error of their ways. They've come to realize this, you know, and I see like your heart's not open to them, but your head is waiting to hear from them, wanting communication. You want a uh, communication about them coming to see you. It's like you have a candle in the wind, in the window lit for them at night. So they know how to find you figure, figure, figuratively speaking. There's just this delay there, there, you may be receiving offers or, um, for new work, relocation, uh, things that are abundant, things that are tangible, things that are going to really help you, but you're still in kind of this waiting position for this person, maybe waiting for them to heal. Uh, even if this is someone who's passed away, you, you still can't get out of that energy, you know? Um, and of course, obviously not physically waiting for them to come back, but looking for a sign, um, still connecting to signs from them, still hearing them at night. They come to you in your dreams, uh, even whether, whatever the situation is with this person, you're, you're going out, <clears throat> you're seeing the same car that they drove. Uh, you're seeing the same uh, reminders, things are still triggering your energy. And I feel like cancer, you're not quite ready uh, to let go just yet. It's still a struggle for you. So I'm, I'm picking up <laughs> so weird because I do remote viewing and I can close my eyes and see images. And so I, for some reason, this is going to sound strange. There's a connection to chicken soup. I don't know how that even, what the connection is there. Um, there's a connection to food with this person. <laughs> uh, like canned goods. Maybe they worked in a supermarket or um, <laughs> corporate, uh, something along those lines. I'm trying to, to identify here. Uh, I just keep seeing blue and white and metal. And I don't know what the connection is to that for you. For some, maybe, maybe not. And flashing lights. I see flashing lights. Anyway, um, moving forward, you have the nine of swords. So, uh, you're just 
kids are going through a thing right now. There's stress, anxiety, trouble sleeping at night. Remember I was saying, I feel like this person's coming to you in your dreams. I don't feel like they're coming in like as nightmares, but it weighs so heavily on your mind that it's difficult for you to get sleep. It's difficult for you to um, rest. There's images perhaps from something that may have happened in the past or things that you went through, you're still in this energy, okay? Your advice here is the two of wands. And your advice is to um, try to expand yourself a little bit more. Um, and you, your advice is to really take a look at, like, uh, you have two paths here, Cancer. You have two choices. You can stay in the past Or you can stay in the, or get into the present. I just want to clarify. And the King of Pentacles is here. And the uh, Nine of Pentacles. So there's an earth element here. Uh, it seems that your advice is to uh, get more involved in your work and to start building. There's um, also someone here who support you financially in some way earth sign taurus possibly um could be virgo could be capricorn um let me pull a card for the nine of swords yeah i see you trying uh, you're thinking a lot about the physical connection that you had with this person that really uh you miss their touch you're um, dreaming about that, dreaming about them, wishing that you could have that again. Okay, it's ever present. Hoping for a potential new beginning with that again, whether it's with that person or if that person's gone with someone else, that it's a struggle for you. Okay, your environment right here is a page of pentacles with surrounding you. Um, there's communication and it's connected to this ace of pentacles for me. There's communication. Um, somebody wants to talk to you, Cancer. Someone has been trying to message you. Seven of Swords. Somebody's trying to message you about something. There's something that happened. Okay, two pages. You're not trusting, you're not believing somebody. So I, I feel like there's someone in your life who um, truly cares for you. You're not trusting, you're not ready. Uh, you're having a struggle uh, to believe and trust again because of what was taken away from you or somebody leaving you. I feel whoever's reaching out to you is sincere and they do offer their assistance and help. Um, this is an energy of uh, someone who is a business owner or a business man or woman. Uh, this person wants to see you get on your feet, wants to help you get on your feet financially to be self-supporting. And there is friendship and they are very sweet on you whomever they may be, um, but you're just a little scattered at this time because of something that broke in the, in the past. Some of you are just missing your father. There, your father is not with you. And I wanna see if we have a message from him or a father figure that has passed into the other world. His message, manifesting miracles. Your dream, your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow guidance. So um, that's this is that person's message for you. Okay. Sorry you can't see it very well. Spirit, is there another message? Please give us another message. If you could do anything, what would it, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is a gateway to the soul. Somebody's definitely, your your father figure or someone who's passed away or a father, whomever it may be, um, 
is cheering you on. They're not gone. Okay. And this is for those of you who've lost someone. They're not gone. They want you to follow your dreams. You're lost. There might be an element of depression or feeling sad, misdirected, difficulty letting go. And, and you've got someone here in your life who supports you 100%. Now, it doesn't have to be an earth sign, as I was saying. I'm just picking up someone um, possibly wealthy or has stability. They're, they're very stable, someone you can count on. Your hopes and fears. You've got the five of cups. I know you want to be able to let go of this and move on. Okay. But I see that you fear you're going to be stuck in sadness for a really long time. Uh, again, these are just hopes and fears. It's not, you know, the permanent forever. But this is something that you have to look. I mean, you can't force your healing, of course. But there is something I feel like you need to take a look at. Um something holding you back, something's holding you from living your life. Uh, when your emotions, when you're becoming indifferent and apathetic to life, to love, to feelings, comfortably numb is what I fear is happening for you because of such deep pain that you've suffered in the past. And it's so intense and deep. Um, your outcome, you have the Ace of Swords, Okay, so I feel like there's going to be um, some type of communication coming for you, coming to you. Somebody's going to help you overcome some, some of these obstacles. If you're looking for help, I know like you're listening to the reading or, you, you know, some of you are seeking, you know, help, but you're not like, it's like you're getting help or, you, or maybe you're just getting people who are listening to you, but you're not really getting someone's not really laying out, helping you to lay out a plan for how you need to go about do, to, to overcome these things. And, uh, I feel like that actually is, is going to happen. I feel like you, when I was seeing the sirens, I'm feeling like someone to the rescue, someone's coming to your rescue to help you not replace someone from the past, but to help you. Look, you've got the wheel of fortune and the chariot. Okay. This is for you, Cancer, because this is your card. Okay. Relocation, moving, money. This, both of these cards are movement cards. The Wheel of Fortune and the Chariot. They're wheels. They're mo it's movement. Um, there's somebody coming from far away. Um. <clears throat> This could be someone that you've known for about 12 years, possibly. This person, I feel, could be showing up in June or July. Um, it is, I, I'm also picking up Sagittarius energy here too, for some of you. I don't know how that will resonate for you, but this person's actually gonna like be pivotal in your life. They're going to help. You may have to move. They may help you relocate. You may need like a, a fresh change of scenery to start over. Get away for a while. There's also an energy here of um, if you have children, maybe a water and an earth sign. Children, stay true to them. They're hurt too. They're feeling they're feeling the hurt as well. They feel that they've been taken advantage of or deceived in some way. Even if it was a, a physical loss of someone, um, they, they are still feeling that hurt. So it's an energy of, uh, you know, the, your environment, what's surrounding you to pay attention to that. Yeah. See, this whole situation has to do with the heartbreak or the, the loss. And this is what someone I feel is coming in to rescue somebody sending you angels uh, for sure and and even that message from your father is who is supporting you fully during this time watching over you michael who's michael okay i think that pretty much clarifies what i've been trying to get out here um, you need to release somebody. 
you know, I know you're listening to this like, oh my gosh, this is the most depressing reading. Each one of my readings, believe me, I'm not doing Skittles and uh, rainbows here. You know, sometimes they're awesome. Sometimes they're deep and intense. Um, but I, I go deep. And sometimes that message just comes out. That's what I see, you know. And uh, if you want light and airy type messages, just listen to my dailies. <laughs> but I, I feel like this is the message here for you. Release whoever was in your past for however long you need to, that's entirely up to you. But this energy has become, it's like a stagnant pool. This energy has become, there's no movement. And what happens in stagnant water is things begin to rot. And you need to have faith. I feel like you are having, you have an outlet here that's coming for you. Okay, Cancer. So I'm going to leave your reading there. I hope that this video uploads. And uh, thank you for watching. Best of luck. Many blessings to you. I love you guys. All right. Bye.